So the other day, Michael Does Life did a live stream titled, uh, Returnal is a Great Game, Don't Buy It. I was like, this is ridiculous. I checked it to see why, if it's a great game, or maybe he said good game, why he would say not to buy it. I mean, I was like, this is this guy's shtick. Whatever it is, don't buy it, which I think is funny. But when I clicked on the stream, he was out in the woods or in the forest, clearing in the forest or whatever, taking calls, and they were arguing, and he was arguing with the callers. So I was like, um, he was saying it was a crappy game, and it's not worth spending the money on. So I just turned it off. You know, I was like, whatever. I have been interested in uh, Returnal since I first saw, you know, um, the announcement trailer, and then, you know, I would always uh, check any video on YouTube about it, like any previews or people um, who got news on it. But I don't even have a PS5, and I don't intend to get one anytime soon. Um, you know, they're hard to get. You know, I need to save money for it. But also, I don't like getting systems in the first generation or the first rollout of them um, because you, I want them to get whatever issues, bugs, kinks, or whatever, sort it out so I don't have to deal with it. Like, I think there's an issue with the how much you can actually save on the PS5, and I don't think they have yet allowed you to hook up an external drive. Maybe they have at this point, but I'm not really looking much into it since I don't expect to get it anytime soon. But with Returnal, I was like, man, I'll probably try to get it as soon as I can because I want to play that game. It's PS5 exclusive. I don't know. I, it looks great. You know, um, the colors, the monster designs. I know people were complaining about the main character being some old lady. And that doesn't necessarily bother me so much because I, you know, she looks like Lindsay Krauss from uh, this movie called House of Games that I really love by um, David Mamet. Um, she looks like Lindsay Krauss with uh, uh, Sigourney Weaver's voice and David Bowie's eyes. What's that um, condition? Her well, you know, the one where they have two different color eyes. And I wonder if the fact that the character, her name is Celine, she doesn't look like Celine at all. At least not a Celine spelled S E L E N E. I mean, if I was to name her Celine, I would name her, or I would spell it C E L I N E. But I know it's connected to the story. They has, you know, it's about Greek myths or something like that. But I also think that the, the two different color eyes have something to do with, um, or as some kind of like a nod or a tribute to Bowie and, um, you know, Major Tom, Space Oddity. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why they gave her the different color eyes. She also has a nice booty. You know, I'm, I'm surprised when I saw her running around in the trailers and stuff. Booty, booty bouncing like a basketball when she's running around and hopping. So that's good. I always like, um, but, <laughs> but, um, so to speak. But, um, so what I was going to say, so yeah, so I was like, if I get it for anything, you know, if I get the PS5 soon, it will be for Returnal, you know, since I don't know when God of War is coming out. And that's another game that I would try to get the PS5 immediately for. But the thing that's now decided me that I'm not going to get Returnal, like at all, ever, even when I get a PS5, um, is the fact that it doesn't have a damn save system or a good checkpoint system. That it's a hard game that you have to play pretty much all the way through and that's fine for players who have no life, who are sociopaths, who has no job, who are super talented at gaming. <laughs> like, it's fine for those people who think that, hey, it's no problem. I will play this game. I will die over and over again. I will get an hour or two hours or hour and a half of progress. One false move. I'm dead. And I got to start it all over again. Fine. No problem. I'll do that. Because when I first saw, you know, like the announcement trailer and a couple of other things, previews of the game past couple of months, I didn't know anything about, well, I knew it was bullet hell game, but I didn't realize that it was going to be so difficult and that it was going to be set up where you just got to keep repeating uh, each biome, I guess, stage uh, that you have to fight through um, over and over again, pretty much through at least. I guess all the way through. Apparently there's at some point 
you get a checkpoint where does that mean see that's the thing since there's no save um, system in the game it seems like all the checkpoint that you finally get to does is when you're killed you could just start from there but you still can't stop the game and take a break I mean you can pause it but if the PS5 shuts off or if you have some kind of crash you've still lost all that progress and this goes back to what I said about um, developers being sociopaths. The fact that they would think of 20, uh, 2021, I was going to say 2121, which would be you know upsetting for a lot of reasons. But 2021, you release a game that uh, requires concentration and time and effort and luck and you know that the majority of the people who are going to spend 70 fucking bucks on it are not children. People who have jobs. People who have family. People who have only so much time. That's the great evil of capitalism, that it eats up your time. You know, people always talk about, oh, you know, people against who, people who love capitalism and praise it and say it's great. You know, the value of work. You know, it's that whole idea that, you know, it's valuable work. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you want to work, make some money, um, contribute to what people produce, great. But so much of your life shouldn't be about working and drudgery. You know, you have if you you have a simple job that's forty hours a week, but you have to. And a lot of times, you got to commute. You got to clean up your house. You got to get something to eat. You got to. Take some time to reflect on the day. You don't have time to play a game for a fucking hour that's super hard, requires all your concentration and powers. And some people obviously are better at these games than others. But you put all this time into playing this goddamn game. And then in an instant, it all goes away. I know that there are people who think that that's great and that's good for them. So I'm not saying that they shouldn't have made the game. I'm just saying that somebody who... I do think it's sociopathic, though, to design it the way that they did. Not considering that, you know, you're going to have people who's going to be interested in this game that are Im immediately locked out of it because they can't fucking save their progress. So, I mean, hey, maybe they just say, look, if you think the game is worth it, you'll take, you know, I'll take a complete day off and then just try to play it and get good. And the thing is, getting good is not even the issue. Again, it's like you only have so much time. Maybe after you finish work, get home from the commute, you play. You only have like an hour to play. So you beat your the first boss or whatever and after an hour. You clear a biome or whatever after an hour and a half. Whatever. That's it, though. You can't say, okay, good. I'm going to save my progress here and we'll go back tomorrow or a couple of days from now when I get another chance to play. You can't do that because, no, <laughs> we, don't, we have not given you the ability to do that. We have not provided a very simple thing. And it's always like weird to me, the people who defend uh, choices and decisions like this, as if, well, I mean, if you don't like it, don't play it. It's like, don't you want to support this game? I mean, are you happy to be the one or two, three, two, one or two or three people who play this fucking game all the way through, and the rest decide, oh, you can't save and they don't buy it, or they spread the word that you can't, you know, that it's no point in buying it if you like saving. Like what? Like what are those people supposed to do? Like you're, if you're House Mark, the designer of Returnal, you design this fucking game. It looks amazing. It's great. A lot of people like it, but most of the potential audience for the game is locked out of it is that fine i mean do you want to run a, like a, is this just a boutique you're fine to have this game that could do so much more for you but you you think it's better to to stick to some ridiculous because i mean somebody was saying i forgot who it was I, I was watching somebody recently who said i don't think it's a great idea to even enter or add a, a save point to it you know it's the the designers thought it was great to make a game where you die and you have to start everything over again. And that's how it should be. You know, it's their game. They should do what they want. But it's like, 
What about the customer though? So do you want customers or not? Everybody who always says it's their game, they should do what you want. Also get mad when people say, I'm not going to get it then. If they're not doing what I want, and it's not about you have to cater to my every whim. It's, hey, I need a save system because I only have so much time in the day to play this fucking thing. You're telling me it's great and you're telling me how much fun you're having at it. But then you also get mad when I say, well, nah, it's not for me because I can't fucking save it if I get past the boss or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, just freeze your like it just it's insane to me. I, that's what I mean. Again, you have to be a sociopath to say we're going to tell the gamer if they want to stop playing at any point, just pause your PS5. Well, it may accidentally get shut down. <laughs> I just think it's absurd that when you're designing this game and then the people who are like, oh, you know, props to Housemark, they, you know, uh, it's a big success, it's game of the year, the, the development team worked so hard, but it's like they weren't smart enough to say, you know what, this is a new fucking system, we're going to have a lot more people playing it who don't play this type of game. You know, let's give them some uh, quality of life features so that they, you know, so we don't fuck ourselves in the future. Because, you know, you're pretty much done. When you do stupid shit like this, you're done. Um, it's going to do well. It's done well because a lot of people pre-ordered it before they knew what exactly they were getting into because it looked great. Like, when you see the trailers and it's a story, you're just thinking that you're going to have this really cool uh, action game with this really cool story. But then it turns out to be this sort of um, specialized genre where a lot of people are not familiar with. And it's like, all right, now everybody's supposed to play this. It's like if, you know, you made an MCU movie and then all of a sudden everybody gets there and it's Fellini. And they're like, huh? <laughs> and look, I love Fellini. I love Fellini more than any MCU film as much as I love comics. You know, the MCU films, there's some good ones and some great ones even. But they are all basic bitch when it comes to cinematic um, creativity. They're not, they all look the same. They have dull, flat palettes. It's, but not to get into that, but it's just that I like when you mix genres. And I like when you combine different things. But I feel like when you want a huge audience, you have to be a little bit more uh, clever and adaptable to the different type of people who are going to play it. There are people protecting this or defending this game as if it's just a small little $20, $25 um, experience, and it's not. It's a $70 fucking dollar game. Um, this is not Celeste or whatever. This is a big AAA. I mean, they might say it's AA. I don't know. Looks amazing, though. I would love to play it. But I'm not going to play it if there's no decent save system. And actually, a lot of the different things that I just hear about it just turn me off. I think the difficulty, you know, I don't get anything out of, you know, difficult solo player games. Like, I don't, I, I've never gotten anything out of it. Like, it doesn't mean anything to me to beat a really hard game. You know, I know people have get per personal satisfaction in a lot of different things. Me, it's never been, I'm going to play a game on the hardest level, and when I beat it, I'm going to go, I was watching somebody, and he said, so what's the point of, like, beating these really hard, difficult games? Do you go to a bar and get pussy off of it? Do you go tell some chick, you know, I just got the high score in, I don't know, well, Returnal. I just beat Returnal in one sitting. And then the chick goes, I'm giving you my ass. Straight A. <laughs> like, No. Like, nobody gives a shit. Like, it's, again, if you get personal satisfaction out of it, that's fine. I know that there are people who say, you know, um, the challenge makes it all worthwhile. But I like challenge, too, but I don't want to sit there all day. And the thing is, you don't have all day. A lot of people don't have all day to play a game that's, a like, not a game, games, period. The, the point for a lot of people with games is to relax, <laughs> to sort of take a break from the world, uh, to chill. Like, um, one of the reasons why I'm not a multiplayer um, uh, guy 
is because I play games to get away from people, to get away from bullshit. And um, so, like, yeah, it's fine. If Housemark doesn't want to add a safe system and people who are very familiar with roguelite and roguelite um, are against it and they don't want their game uh, <laughs> corrupted by, like, casual normie uh, stuff, features like save system or... <laughs> You know, allowing you to choose the type of weapons that you um, get when playing the game. I mean, that's fine. I mean, if that's a ho the way Housemark wants to do it, they should stick to their guns and then just uh, realize that they probably won't sell a lot going forward. You know, they've got a great... It's going to be that Last of Us 2 thing where, you know, they have a great opening week or two. And then after that, it just... It dies out because everybody, you know, the word is out that fucking game you can't save or it's too hard or whatever it is. And there's a lot of like, uh, I'm going to say like reviewers, video game reviewers who are saying that it's difficult, but they're trying to act like, well, they're trying not to say basically like this is fucking shit. Like I can't, this is too hard. And you know, they're afraid to say it because they're afraid to be clowned by, you know, random people. Who will say you know that they're trash especially like the gaming journalists gaming journalists don't you know know how to play games and they shouldn't be journalists because they can't beat tough games so you know they can't come out and just say look this shit is too fucking hard i mean if you spend all day devoted to that not doing anything else you can get through the game and get better at it but if you've got other games to play or you've got friends or you get you know you got a girlfriend whatever you can forget it. It's not going to happen unless you're streaming or something. You get, you know, I think a lot of YouTubers could probably get through it because they could, you know, <laughs> they can play the game, get better at it, and then make money off of it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a shame. I'm, I'm probably, I don't know if they're going to I hear talk that um, they may actually do something about the safe system, how smart might actually do something about it. Um, they don't have to if they don't want to. Um, I'm not going to fight anybody that says it should be as hard as it is and it shouldn't have a safe system because that's what roguelike games are. You know, um, something like Resogun, when you die, that's it. You start from the beginning. If that's how it is, that is how it is. That's fine. But, you know, it's disappointing when you see that the marketing didn't tell you that. And you didn't, you know, you don't find this shit out until reviews come out. And I think it was Power Picks when he talked about the, um, or when they talked about the trophies and how, you know, they went through how, like, ridiculously difficult it is to earn the trophy because of the way it's set up. Then people go, well, wait a minute, I thought this was going to be Resident Evil in space, um, you know. Um, just, you know, to make it kind of simple, what people thought. I thought it was going to be a cool adventure space game with, like, near automata-type bullet hell sequences or whatever, but nothing that would stop you from enjoying it. I mean, I know that, again, there's different types of uh, people. I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, so I'm about to shut up in a minute before my stupid-ass neighbors act up anyway, but um, I can see if that's what you do you're a roguelike developer, you're going to be committed, you know, dedicated to the game 100%. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, it's just that a lot of people were not sold or, you know, they weren't told in the beginning through the marketing what they actually were going to get into. So you got all these people who pre-ordered the game are now seeing that they're kind of fucked, you know. But who knows, you know, um... They may go ahead and um, add some features that will make it easier for some people. And I, I understand that will be controversial for people who would like it as it is now and don't want the experience tainted in any way. Um, it won't hurt them at all if they can just play it on the regular... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like the regular difficulty and the regular uh, feature set. But, you know... Once you get protective of something and feel like it's yours, 
you're going to get mad if normies get a chance to be involved as well. But yeah, um, let me know what you think about Returnal if you've gotten the game. And if you think that it's one of those games where even though it starts off difficult, um, super difficult, you actually get better at it and it's not a big deal. Um, let me know if you think it should have a save feature and um, how much time you normally like to spend on games. Thanks a lot. Take care.